uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's uh, solve this uh, very interesting question okay basically this is purely based on the capacitor circuit okay so basically there are three capacitor let's say this is uh, capacitor of value c capacitance of value c and this is capacitance of value 2c and this is the capacitance of value 3c okay like there are three capacitors and they are uh, previously charged to let's say 0 volt or this c capacitor and 1 volt to this 3c capacitor and 2 volt uh, 2 volt uh, like 1 volt for this 2c capacitor okay so so this is the uh, like this is given right now we have to find what is the v out this v out once they are stacked as shown in below so they are charged uh, previously like this and then we have connect uh, in this fashion okay now we have to find what will be the output uh, like this v out voltage okay we have to find v out okay now what you do uh, like how to solve this problem so actually intuitively we can see that these two these two capacitor makes a close path right because let this is ground and this is ground and this this capacitor is not making any close path basically this is open okay so basically what this 2c capacitor will do basically it like there is no current flow through this capacitor okay so there will be no charging or no discharging for this 2c capacitor okay 2c cap okay so this capacitor cannot be charged or, and cannot be discharged this capacitor okay so basically the potential at 2c was on voltage right so it will try to maintain on voltage across this so and this is our x okay so the uh, like steady state value will be like v o minus v x always will be plus on voltage okay basically this capacitor is not charging and not discharging so the uh, voltage across it will be maintained okay so this will be this so this is clear now so what will these two guys will do so basically they will share their charges okay so we solve this like a like we know total initial charge equal to total final charge right so total what was the initial charge for these two capacitor and this is not contributing anything right so the main point is these two guys so total initial charges will be this 3c and what was the voltage across 3c this this was one right plus and the capacitor c and the voltage was zero volt okay so this was the total initial charges and total final charge so basically this vx right this is the final voltage across this, this two capacitor so the overall voltage is vx and they these two are comes in parallel okay so two capacitor in parallel means they the capacitance will be added right so let's say this is 3c and this is c so total will be 3c plus c so now we have to find this vx value okay so this will be 3c equals equals vx times 4c so this this cancels so our vx is nothing but what will be that so this will be 3 by 4 and this is nothing but 0 0.75 volts okay now we have to just replace this vx over here okay so our v out will be nothing but v out will be nothing but uh, vx plus 1 voltage right so this will be 0 0.75 plus 1 volt okay so this will be 1.75 volt okay so this is the correct answer and this is the correct way okay how can we like uh, think uh, for our solution okay so actually this option d is our right answer okay so this is the correct answer so once again i am telling basically this is open circuit right so this capacitor cannot be charged and cannot be discharged okay and this and so so it will try to maintain its potential uh, and uh, that was previously previously it was have okay it it has okay so 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 the equation will be like this right and these two capacitor will share their charges and steady state vx this is our vx will be this 0 0.75 voltage okay now to maintain this so actually virtue of the property of this capacitor this value like this voltage this voltage becomes 1.75 and this vx becomes 0 0.75 so the voltage across these two capacitor 
remain same okay so thank you everyone uh, please give your valuable feedback thank you and one thing one thing so how how do you think what will be the form of v out and uh, like vx so the there is no uh, no resistance right no resistance so the charging will be instantaneously okay so if we plot if we plot if we plot let's say this is our so basically vx so how can we plot this uh, okay so can we plot that uh, okay i will be sharing with an, in another video okay